Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, I thought it would be fun to make an apartment for a big sister looking out for her two little siblings. I don't know what could happen to the parents, but maybe they died and now she has to like, you know, get out, get a job. And you know, this is like the only apartment she can afford. It's very small. So I'm thinking like she has like maybe two siblings and possibly they share a room. Cause I think that could be cute. So for the layout, honestly, this would be like two good bedrooms but we do have to think about the bathroom. So I was thinking like this could be the bathroom. Probably doesn't need to be that big. And I feel like this is always the layout when I make these apartments. Bathroom over here and two bedrooms. But it's just such a good layout. I don't really think you can do something that different, you know? I mean, the only thing I can think that I could do different is like having one of the bedrooms on this wall instead. And like that's about it. And then this could be the bathroom. So like big sister's room, shared room, and then the kitchen could go over here, and I guess the living room could go over here. It's a little bit weird, the layout, but it is different from what I've been doing before. I'm just gonna put some lights in so we can see what we're doing. So obviously in a normal apartment, you wouldn't really be able to like customize it. It will probably have like all white walls, but I don't know if I wanna build like that. I think I wanna go for something like very fun, something very different. Ooh, that's a very beautiful purple. Maybe that can be for like the big sister and I probably shouldn't start in their bedrooms just yet. But part of me is wondering like, should I give them their own space? Like, should it be separated down the middle? So I kind I want to find like some crazy rugs to try out for them so like maybe one of them likes the color yellow and then the other one could maybe use like this vampire's rug oh this one from movie hangout i think i want to use that like this one has like a little bit of yellow in it then we have this one which also has yellow in it so that's something to think about and i would love to put purple in this room maybe we could use this rug from paranormal but i'm just gonna put like some nice doors and i guess we should get started so maybe we can start in the kitchen. Obviously it's not realistic for this to like fit the color scheme vibes but what if the teenager is like a tarot card reader? Because I kind of want to use like the new stuff from Life and Death and like maybe mix it in with paranormal so maybe this is like the living room rug. That could be cute. And then for the kitchen I was thinking of using this kitchen set from Parenthood because I like the light blue and it kind of matches with this light color in the rug. So as I said it's going to be like a galley kitchen like this. So the fridge could probably be right here as soon as you walk in the door or we could have like an extra counter space right here that is cute maybe we can like scoot the counters on this side a little bit in just because like this fridge is like it has a gap when you normally place it and i don't like that so i'm gonna like try to alt place it backwards and i'm hoping these don't really clip outside actually maybe that's not good because it would be cool to put the sink right there okay it kind of works the faucet does clip maybe i'll just slightly move it back i could just use like a different fridge maybe i can use this one from home shelf hustle i wish there was a window right here so badly but there isn't one we could get like this in piece counter maybe i'll move this one over and then get the little piece to be right here i feel like there's a way with tools to like add windows to apartments at least these type of apartments because they did update it to where you can like add windows like this but you can't add them to the front so that's kind of the problem that we're having and if i do get a window i probably want it to match the one that's also in the front so let's see if i can like figure out how to do it so i have it selected i think i probably need to click in the middle of where i want it to be like that's pretty good i did it on first try obviously i have to like like move it over a bit so let's try to do that i'm a little stressed okay that's good and then i'm gonna like elevate it to be a little down like maybe it being right there is cool I'm gonna use like the home shelf hustle stove and we could probably get like just an end piece right here so it's a little bit different or we could just block it off and then that's where the entrance table could be i think i'm gonna clutter first so i'm thinking it would be nice if they had like a microwave so we could have our utensils we could have some fruit we could have some recipe books we could probably have a chopping board i think it would be very nice if like the kids could help her cook as well but i'm not sure if i want to leave open a second counter because i just like cluttering so i think that's good for this counter space i'll probably have them chop on this counter so i'll put the paper towels over here with the plant maybe they enjoy their waffles so i think that's nice and then i'm gonna get some cabinets over here as well and it would be cool to get like a stove 
fit for them. I also want to get like a runner rug in the kitchen. Like I think that's perfect for this occasion. Maybe we could go with like this blue tile from the Home Shelf Hustle pack. I think that's pretty cute. I would like to get like some aprons. I don't know where we can fit the trash can. I don't know if that's weird but it's fine right? Then I'm gonna get a fire alarm and a thermostat and then we can move on to the living room space. So unfortunately this balcony is useless. You can't put anything on it. So for the living room I was kind of thinking the TV would go over here. Um, I know that's in front of the window but I think that's fine but I would love to find like a purple couch. I know we don't have that many purple options but I feel like it needs to be purple you know and maybe the right purple color. That's so cute but I feel like it doesn't fit the vibes. Maybe we could go with like a plain couch and we could like decorate it with pillows that are purple. So we could decorate it with this purple pillow from base game and then we could throw in this like tan pillow from the modern Lux kit. I'm so happy we have pillows now but I feel like they should have had them lean a little bit more so they're not like so up and straight. Obviously with tool this isn't a problem but if you're on console it's not really nice to have to have straight pillows on your couch. That's just very unrealistic. Like is that cute? I think that's cute. And then I think this matches the floor so that's perfect. And then we can get like the matching chair to go with this. Like that's so cute right? Ooh I like these purple curtains. They're not the right purple. That's the only problem. I don't think we have good purple curtains actually. Maybe I'll just get these like modern Lutz curtains. I am kind of thinking about moving this around so that the TV is like on this wall. Um I think that's pretty good but I don't know what will go back here. I'm thinking we could put like a little table with like a lamp on it. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or maybe we could get like a lamp that is already on the ground. We could get it in like a nice silver color and I think that's pretty simple. I would like to get like a bookshelf but I don't think that looks good but like this could be cute in the kids room. Maybe I'll just get like an actual table lamp instead. Ooh, like that has purple. Maybe that's cute. It does have like orange vibes but we're just gonna have to ignore that it's orange. Like, it's okay. It will be fine. We can, like, all place these books. Um, maybe we could have, like, some sticky notes. Like, I think that's a pretty good table spot. Maybe back here we could put, like, a big plant. Like, we have this cute little dine-out one. That is a good option. We have this one from Eco Lifestyle, which is cute. Maybe that's the best choice. There's this one from Base Game, but I don't know. It's like, I want to place it here, but then, like, it clips into the wall. Maybe I'll I'll use the dine out one because I just I like it I don't know I'm gonna search up kid just to see what pops up because I think I would like to put like some kid clutter in here like maybe this could be above the tv that's perfect and then this little thing from growing together is cute we could pretend like they're doing like some cute little activities in this room so honestly this is like a pretty good big sister we can get this little guy Ooh, these butterflies are nice I love to think the kids hung those up then we could have like this little reading poster to get them excited about school and stuff. Oh and then these toys are nice. Honestly again they can't like get to this part so we can block it off. There's no need to like pretend they can get to it you know. And then it would be good to have like a little dining room space. I feel like in her bedroom she could probably fit in like an office space. I also feel like her wallpaper color is a little too much but like this table is cute. We could put it like in the middle of the rug or actually maybe we should move the rug like that. I think that's that's good. We have like these desk chairs which I kind of like but I don't think they fit for a home you know. But maybe she got them for the cheap. You know these were cheap. With apartments I like to think they come with like the kitchen stuff and the bathroom because that's like very realistic to me. We're gonna ignore the price up there. It's already like 22k. You know like a lot of people helped her since her parents has passed away. We can get like a nice little plate they made together at school. Isn't that pretty? And then I like to think they put up photos of their parents. We should probably paint the walls and I feel like there needs to be something over here. Obviously we do need an accent wall that is very necessary. Maybe this is better for her bedroom and we could also put this color in the main room as well. And then for an accent wall I was thinking we could do some brick. I could put a black brick on this wall, maybe on that wall, and I feel like this wall also needs it but we could probably find another texture. Like this one from Eco Lifestyle is pretty good and 
we still have that little bit of purple. That's so cute. And then in this corner, we could probably put some kid stuff because like they have to share a room so they don't have really much space to put any other stuff. And also it's three of them. So maybe we get rid of one chair and we could put like the activity table over here and they could put their artwork on this wall. And actually, I think we should get like a black wallpaper and like maybe a column piece to like separate what I'm trying to do. Honestly, this color is probably pretty good. It matches pretty well. Honestly, I feel like it should face this way instead of like with the table. But we have a lot of chalk decals from base game as well as like werewolves. So we have like these stars. We have like this cute little owl. Like that's a cute fun little area. I don't know if you can get their paintings from debug. So if I were you, I would probably replace what I'm doing right now with the pictures. But it does look empty. So I don't want to like say you can put that stuff here and leave it empty. I think that's pretty cute. And yeah, I think that's this area complete. I don't even want to look at the bathroom, but maybe we should do it. So as I said before, I feel like this comes with the place. So it's not going to fit the vibes of the sister. This towel from growing together is like honestly so cute. I don't know but that's the bathroom complete. It's pretty simple. I also have to remind myself to put windows in like the other rooms. Honestly I guess I could match them to the building. I wasn't going to but I was like maybe I should. Oh see here's the thing. So the kids don't have a window which I am now realizing but it's okay. This is just the way the apartment was made and we have to remember that this is the sims so it's not that serious and uh, you know it's a very cheap apartment. It's really not but it is. I want to use this because I never get to but it just doesn't work with this kind of window. I could go with like just these black curtains. I guess I could possibly use the modern lust curtains because they're pretty nice. And then for the bed I don't think life and death comes with like a bed that I would use so I think I want to check out the ones from high school years to see if they're a match because she is also in school I assume so maybe she has like a part-time job. That is so beautiful. This is beautiful too, but I did say she was into like tarot card reading, but is she? I don't feel like I get that vibe. Maybe this bed is good for that occasion. And then I also want to give her like the wallpaper from Paranormal. So this rug seems pretty good, I think, for what we're going for. Or we could do like the light purple. Ooh, this one is so cute too. I think I will filter to high school years and look at the poster options. Like there's this one of the llama, which I think is perfect. I don't know if it should be on this wall though. Also, I don't think the bed needs to be in the middle. So like maybe I'll put it over here. Ooh, this is cute. It has like the little purple on it, but maybe I should match the wood tone that we're trying to go for. And then we could get these deck of tarot cards. Oh, she definitely has like these in her room. So maybe I can choose only two or three. This one is good for the colors. This one is good. This one fits the colors. Grim Reaper. I love that. The only thing I hate about these are the frame colors and you can't change them. So that's really sad. And then I was thinking like the desk area could go over here. And then I wanted to use like the new Roly chair from Life and Death because I just really love the way it looks. Like this is so pretty. Like it's so beautiful. And then I think maybe she saved her money up to get like a streaming setup just because maybe she likes to game in her free time. And then over here I'm gonna give her like a little wardrobe. Part of me is like I kind of want to put the wardrobe over here and also I probably should bring in like the accent wall color. I feel like I only want to have one purple wall and it's going to be this one. I don't know. I don't like the purple above the bed and honestly I'm thinking maybe we should only have two of these posters and I'm also going to grab her some bags to put on the wall. Maybe I should grab a mirror too. I'll put her bags on this wall and I might scoot this over a little bit so I can put a plant. Maybe I'll put the plant right here and then over here I kind of I wanted to put like a little seating area. Ooh, there's this very beautiful chair from high school years. I also was kind of thinking of this chair from Love Struck because that's purple and it's also cute. So maybe I kind of want to go for this. Oh my gosh, what if she had a vanity? Obviously, you can't really scoot this chair in because it clips, but this is obviously pretend. It's just decoration. I'm going to give her these beautiful can 
candles. And then I want to give her that Mira from the Everyday Clutter Kit. And they have like some nail polishes showing. And then I guess I can put like the makeup on this wall. I'm thinking I want to get like another plant. I think that will finish this room off. I already put this in the living room so I can't use it again. Maybe I'll use this one from Modern Lux. And I think that's a pretty cute room. So maybe we can move on to the children's room which I am a little bit excited for. Oh, that's a crazy color. Oh, that's also crazy. Okay, I did say I wanted to split this off a little bit. It kind of is crazy to put like a wall right here, but I'm gonna do that. So I think this pink bookshelf belongs to the yellow sibling. And I'm thinking for one of the beds, we could probably use the one from the kids stuff pack because I feel like I don't use this bed often. So it would be nice if I could make it work. Oh, that's cute. It has like that little bit of purple in there, the pink, and then like the yellow, and also the wood color matches. That is surprising to me because things don't usually go so well, you know? I just, I love my Let's Builds and I haven't been able to do them because school and stuff, but I am really enjoying myself at the moment. Just in case you're wondering, oh, I can give them this light from the movie hangout pack because they are using the movie hangout rug. So I thought, oh, I can't size that down because it's a candle. So never mind. So maybe this can be cute. Like, I don't know if that's the right colors. Maybe this one is fine. And then I wanted to give them like a piggy bank, except it's a uni bank, a unicorn bank. I don't know. I don't know what to call this. Okay, now we can work on this person's side a little bit. So I'm gonna give them a bed. Okay, of course. What if they had like the avocado bed? Maybe that's too much. I feel like we need a bed that shows off pink and yellow vibes. Just pink and yellow. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, this is actually kind of perfect. It's not the right pink. I'm going for this. Obviously the yellow is too yellow. That's just not right. I kind of want to give them like the same nightstand, but maybe that's not such a good idea. We have this nightstand from Discover University, so maybe that's cool. And then I think I will actually put like a little divider to separate it. So like there's this picture one, which is pretty cute. I don't like it. I wish it was straight just because it makes it easier. And then this one is like from the kids stuff pack. Like that's cute. That fits the vibes. I feel like this light would have been perfect over here but that is okay. Maybe I could give them like a yellow lava lamp because that seems a little bit fun and maybe this is the sibling that is kind of into arts and crafts so I can give her that clutter from like growing together. That's pretty cute and I think I might give them like a little poster like this as well. Oh like that's so cute. That's cute. Oh I like this. Maybe this person has this one. Oh look at the little duck. Oh I think I might give them this one and then I put this little toy basket. So they have their arts and crafts thingy in the living room so I think I will put their dresser over here on this side. They already have their activity which is good so they don't really need this space. I'm gonna give them this cute little animal mirror. That's so pretty. And then I was thinking this child could be into like science and honestly they kind of have the bigger side because the door is not exactly in the middle so honestly that is good for them. There's also this shelf that I'm thinking of from Eco Lifestyle. Like this one is so cute. I want to put it somewhere and honestly they probably should have some toys instead of just like regular activities so I'm gonna give them Blarfy and then I could probably put like this car on the floor for them and then they have like these little CD discs so they can listen to music but I think we should probably paint the walls now I don't know how I should paint them because they're kind of like separated they have their own vibes so maybe this person has their wall painted light blue maybe this blue color is better and then this person could have their color be yellow just because of like the yellow pillow. It could be brighter if we wanted it to be like that. And then on the middle wall, we could do this brick and then we could do this kind of color on both of these walls. Oh, honestly, there's like that space thing that you get when you unlock the astronaut career. Well, I have no idea where it could be at this point. It is from base game. I just don't know where it's under. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, I think I'll put that over here and there's also this wall art from the kids room pack yeah like this one that's perfect for this area as well and maybe they're also into void critters honestly what if I put the solar system thingy over here and then I feel like they also need some posters so I can give them like this fairy
fairy poster because we want fairies, right? I don't know if that's cute, but it's a kid's room. So, you know, they decorated it how they wanted to decorate it. And then I almost forgot about the entryway. I mean, we have this from laundry day and we could probably get like a little mirror to check yourself before you walk out. And I think it would be pretty cool to get them this lunchbox, but except it's called a snack bag. They always figure out a way to like name it kind of weirdly. And I say that just because like I was searching for it and I was like lunch, lunchbox. It did not show up. So yeah, that's a choice. This one is probably for the person who's into science. This one could be for like the artist. I'll give them watermelons. I could put like a nice little plant right there. That's cute, right? I already have that plant on this table. Maybe I'll change this one to be more cuter. Maybe on this wall I could put like the family bulletin board. I definitely did not clutter up this desk as I should have. So maybe I can put like this cute little light. I could give them some headset. And yeah, that's pretty good. So I feel like I always forget to put light switches in my build. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I will say I'm not gonna make sure they're at the same height because that's a little too much because you're not gonna really look at them at the same time so I think it's okay if I put them at different heights this is kind of the only place I can put this light I guess it's fine over here it's not that far away from the door so like I'm thinking that's for the kitchen maybe that's for the living room and dining room okay I love this apartment I think it's very cute I tried my best I know it's expensive it's like 40,000 simoleons and yeah the kids do not have a window but we have to forget about that this this is the reminder of the kitchen space. They have a waffle maker, a microwave, pretty simple. This is like the dining room. They have a little kids area. And then over here we have the beautiful living room slash the entrance space. And then through this door is just the bathroom. Again, pretty simple, pretty nice, pretty neat. We have a thermostat, the family bulletin board. This is the teenager's room. They have like a fake vanity. They have a mirror. They have their computer set up. And then this this is the children's room, which is honestly my favorite room out of all of them. I just think it's so fun how we separated it. That's pretty nice. But before I upload this, I should probably color the ceiling. And to upload this to the gallery, unfortunately, I have to like delete some walls. So it's all selected and then we have to upload it to a room. So I just called it Big Sister's Apartment. I'm gonna set it as a kitchen, I guess. I don't know. I really wish they could find a better way to upload apartments without having to delete the walls. And also if they can't find a way then maybe they should consider making an apartment a choice So that way you can like choose to search by an apartment if you're looking for one But I don't know I'm gonna upload it to the gallery if you want to download it My gallery ID is just sims delicious But also I would love to know if you would want me to do this same thing except it's for a big brother That could also be fun. I guess I can leave this episode off here But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like comment and subscribe. I love you. You are important and I will see you guys soon. Bye!